This video highlights and expands upon the thermoscientific Poros column packing protocols. Please refer to the protocols for detailed instructions. Protocols and other product information can be found at thermofisher.com slash poros. Thermoscientific Poros chromatography resins are 50 micron polymeric beads that are chemically stable and inert. They can be used for the chromatography of biomolecules, including monoclonal antibodies, recombinant proteins, DNA, viruses, and peptides. Poros chromatography resins are mechanically rigid and incompressible and can be packed effectively in both low-pressure glass columns and in high-pressure stainless steel columns. The lack of wall support with increasing column diameter has minimal impact because the beads support themselves, allowing for flexible column packing approaches and consistent and robust results. Columns can be packed with traditional flow pack, axial compression, or pack-in-place stall pack packing methods. This video will walk you through the process of packing lab-scale columns of less than or equal to 100 milliliters with Poros resins. For this demonstration, we will utilize Poros XS resin. The steps in the process can be used for all 50 micron resins, with minor differences in the packing factor, which will be highlighted later. Prior to beginning, please have the following equipment and items prepared. Chromatography system or column packing pump, Poros 50 micron resin, 10 or 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, 0.1 molar sodium chloride column packing solution, squirt bottle filled with packing solution, integrity testing solution or plug, 20% ethanol storage solution, bottle top filter with vacuum pump, chromatography column. In this video, we will be utilizing a 1 cm diameter Essential Life Solutions Snap Column. Any commonly used column hardware may be used with Poros resins. Column Extender Plastic Spatula Waste Collection Beaker Level Laboratory Tape or Marker Pipette Calculator and Thermoscientific ChromaPro App the general steps for the column packing process are prepare the slurry, pack the column, and qualify the column. Prepare the slurry. Poros resins are supplied in 20% ethanol or buffered ethanol. It is important to exchange the resin from the shipping solution into a packing solution in order to achieve consistent column packing results. For column packing Poros Ion Exchange and Affinity resins, exchange the 20% ethanol shipping solution with a 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution. Poros resin beads are rigid and incompressible and do not desiccate. Therefore, non-traditional methods can be used for exchanging the shipping solution. Determine the required slurry volume. In this example, we sampled 10 milliliters prior and allowed it to settle greater than four hours. The slurry concentration is calculated as the settled resin volume divided by the total solution volume. The slurry concentration in this example is 60% and the recommended range is 50 to 70%. The required slurry volume is equal to the target column volume divided by the slurry ratio times the packing factor of 1.06 with the exception of Poros XQ resin which has a packing factor of 1.08. For this example, a 1 cm diameter by 20 cm length column with a volume of 15.7 milliliters and a slurry ratio of 60% would be calculated as follows. 15.7 divided by 0 0.60 times 1.06 equals 27.7 milliliters of slurry required. The 1.06 or 1.08 packing factor accounts for the difference in bed volume between a gravity-settled bed and a three-bar pressure-packed bed. An excess of slurry may be utilized for this step. In this case, we will use 50 milliliters and maintain a total volume of 50 milliliters. The first step in the process is to perform the buffer exchange using a 0.2 to 0.45 micron bottle top filter or sintered glass filter. Gently re-slurry resin in the shipping container. Transfer the desired volume of resin slurry to the top of a bottle top filter. Apply vacuum to remove the shipping solution. 
Resuspend the dry resin bed with packing solution to at least the starting volume. Mix carefully with a plastic spatula. Do not grind the resin bed or tear the filter membrane. Repeat steps for a total of three exchanges. Resuspend the resin and transfer to a graduated cylinder. Use the squirt bottle to rinse the filter and transfer any remaining resin to bring to a total of 50 milliliters, the starting volume. Pack the column. Prepare the column by positioning it so that it is vertical on the chromatography system or on a column stand. If utilizing a column extender, attach it to the top of the column. Wet the bottom column distributor with 20% ethanol. Ensure that the column outlet is closed. Do not connect the column outlet to the chromatography system. Plumbing into the system creates back pressure that fights against the inlet pressure trying to settle the bed and pack the column. Ensure that the column is secured in place before beginning the pack. Transfer the required slurry volume previously calculated. In this example, the volume is 27.7 milliliters. Pour the required slurry volume into the column. Use a squirt bottle containing packing solution to remove any residual resin from the column wall. Poros resin beads have a skeletal density similar to the density of water and do not settle rapidly. Do not allow the resin to gravity settle in the column before packing. With the column inlet line directed to waste and the bottom outlet closed, insert the primed top flow adapter and lower it to the slurry level. Continue to lower the adapter slowly to remove the bubbles from the top of the column. Once complete, connect the inlet line to the system. Open the column outlet by removing the cap. For flow packing, initiate flow of your packing solution and pack at a flow rate of at least 50% greater than the maximum operating flow rate for your chromatography operation. For column packing porous resins, we recommend a 0.1 molar sodium chloride packing solution. For smaller diameter columns, less than or equal to 1 centimeter, we recommend higher packing flow rates of 1,000 to 2,000 centimeters per hour. For this pack, we have increased the packing flow rate to 1,000 centimeters per hour, or 13.1 milliliters per minute. This flow should yield a pressure higher than the desired operating pressure for all column steps. Caution! If the column is not packed at a high enough flow or pressure, flowing a more viscous solution, like a cleaning solution, over the column at the same flow rate will further compact the bed and create a headspace. To initiate flow, start the chromatography system pump. Increase the flow rate to the maximum or desired flow rate and pressure obtainable with the equipment used. While adjusting the flow rate and forming the bed, you may observe some turbidity in the effluent as packing begins. This will clear as packing proceeds and one to two bed volumes of packing buffer pass through the column. Continue flow until a clear space forms between the column top adjuster and the slurry, approximately two column volumes. Monitor the pressure. It will gradually rise as the column packs. Reduce the flow rate if the packing pressure approaches the system pressure limit. Continue flowing until the resin bed height stabilizes and note the resin bed height at the packing flow rate. When the flow is stopped, the resin bed height will increase slightly and you will need to lower the adapter the height that was noted during the packing flow rate. If you are using a packing adapter for the column packing steps, you must remove the adapter before continuing. At this point, your resin bed will be below the juncture between the column tube and the packing adapter. Begin removal of the packing adapter by stopping the system flow, capping the outlet of the column, verifying that there is no pressure on the system, and by disconnecting the snap latch and removing the top adapter. After the top adapter has been removed, decant the liquid in the packing adapter with a pipette, being careful not to disturb the packed resin bed. Remove enough liquid to allow the top adapter to be inserted into the column tube. Remove the packing adapter tube by releasing the snap latch. Replace the top adapter into the column tube and reconnect with the snap latch. Once you have replaced the top adapter, cap the column outlet and displace liquid through the top of the adapter to waste. Lower the adapter into contact with the top of the resin bed. Poros resin does not shrink or swell. 
so an open space between the top of the resin and the top distributor is not recommended. Reconnect the inlet line to the chromatography system and open the bottom adapter. Flow at the packing rate until the bed height is stable, taking note of the bed height at the desired pressure. Adjust the adapter as described in the previous step to the noted bed height by displacing the liquid through the top of the adapter and to waste. After the column is packed, flow one to two column volumes of packing solution through the packed bed at the operating flow rate to stabilize the bed. The flow rate used should generate no more than 80% of the final packing pressure. If you will reverse the flow of the column during operation, condition the column in upflow. Flow two to three column volumes in upflow at the operating flow rate. Flow two to three column volumes in downflow at the operating flow rate, then adjust the adapter if needed. Flow two column volumes after you adjust the adapter. This graph shows a typical pressure flow curve of a Poros 50 micron resin. Poros 50 micron resins can be operated at high linear flow rates with a pressure drop that allows use with conventional low pressure chromatography columns and systems. The column and system back pressures have been subtracted, so this curve represents the packed bed back pressure only. Pressure flow response on Poros columns is linear and predictable and will not change based on column diameter. Qualify the column. Ensure uniform column plumbing. Avoid using reducers to connect different tubing sizes. Minimize and keep the column tubing lengths consistent between the plug solution to the column inlet and the column outlet to the detector. For most Poros ion exchange and affinity resins, the recommended column integrity qualification parameters are flow rate, operating flow rate, centimeters per hour, column packing solution for integrity equilibration, 0.1 molar sodium chloride, integrity testing solution, 1 molar sodium chloride, integrity testing volume, 2% of column volume. For Poros XQ, the column integrity qualification parameters are flow rate, operating flow rate, centimeters per hour. Column packing solution for integrity equilibration. 0.5 molar sodium chloride. Integrity testing solution. 2 molar sodium chloride. Integrity testing volume. 4% of column volume. If the packing buffer is different from the mobile phase, equilibrate the column for at least 4 column volumes with the mobile phase. Execute at the flow rate defined for the intended unit operation, typically 100 to 300 centimeters per hour. Monitor conductivity for sodium chloride. Qualification results depend on a number of factors, including the solutions and method used, scale, column hardware, and chromatography system. After you define a column qualification procedure for a specific system, column plus chromatography system, Base the qualification acceptance criteria on historical values and ranges instead of theoretical qualification results. Performing the column qualification method consistently and reproducibly is critical to obtaining meaningful results. This graph shows the column qualification peak. The peak void volume of a porous column is typically 0.7 to 0.8 column volumes. Please refer to the protocols for further details on packing lab-scale columns with thermoscientific Poros resins. Thermo Fisher Scientific Field Application Specialists are also available to conduct on-site packing demonstrations. For more information or to contact us, please visit thermofisher.com slash poros.